But I don't think they're voting for Trump because of his family values. And if you look, just take a step back, be honest. He was kind of right about NATO, kind of right about immigration. He grew the economy quite well. China, Trade, China ta virus. Tax reform worked. Mm -hmm. He was right about some of China. But he wasn't wrong about some of these critical issues. What? Okay, Mr. Diamond, let's take a step back and be honest. Kind of right about NATO? Trump wanted the United States to withdraw from NATO. And he may get his way if he becomes president again. This would open Europe further to Putin's aggression. Kind of right on immigration. Even the Cato Institute found that Trump reduced legal immigration, but not illegal immigration. He tried to impose a Muslim ban. He used the actual language of Hitler to describe immigrants as poisoning the blood of our country. Grew the economy quite well. In fact, under Trump, the economy lost 2.9 million jobs. The U.S. trade deficit that he promised to reduce increased 40.5% during his presidency. The number of Americans lacking health insurance rose by 3 million people. Trump added about $3 trillion to the national debt before the pandemic. Tax reform worked. Trump's tax cuts were a boon for big corporations and the rich while enlarging the budget deficit. If not for the Trump cuts, along with the Bush tax cuts and their extensions, federal revenues would have kept pace with federal spending indefinitely, and the ratio of the debt to the national economy would be declining. Instead, these tax cuts have added $10 trillion to the debt since their enactment. Right about China? As the Brookings Institute found, Trump's China policy intensified confrontation and made it harder for us to cooperate on foreign policy matters. Meanwhile, China funneled more than $5 million into Trump's businesses. So why is Jamie Dimon, the most influential CEO in America, spouting these lies in favor of Trump? Because he thinks Trump has a good chance of becoming president. And Dimon wants to be in his good graces. At a time in American history when the most influential leaders of America need to stand up loudly and clearly for the rule of law, for democracy, for decency, Diamond is now leading the charge in the opposite direction. This is how fascism takes root and spreads.